We are now ready for direction number six. Going to work on the ears. All right. So the ears, okay, they are aligned with the top of the eyes to the bottom of the nose. So your ears actually go from the eyes to the nose, from here to here, like between where my fingers are. A lot of people think ears are like really small and they're up here around your eyes and up here around your forehead or so. But your ears actually go from your eyes to your nose. So lots of different shapes for ears. I'm going to do an ear shape that's different from the handout. These are kind of like a question mark type of shape here. So I'm going to do an ear that's got a couple different parts. So starting like right over here by this dashed line, I'm going to go ahead and take my pencil and I'm going to kind of sketch in a little bit of a curve like this. So you can go ahead and try something like that. Just a little bit of a little hook type of shape. Okay, and then I'm going to come into the ear a little bit and I'm going to draw like another little piece similar to that. Okay, and then I'm going to come in here, all right, just from this outside part here. And I'm going to draw a line that kind of curves in like that. So I did like three like different parts to this ear. You can do something similar to that. If you want to go ahead and try just like a question mark shape like what's on the handout. This one has a little more of an earlobe, kind of a little um, half circle curve shape right here. Mine just kind of goes over and kind of straightens out into the earlobe. It's not really the half circle part, it's more of a flattened out earlobe. So from, the, from this dash line to this dash line, from the eyes to the bottom of the nose. So you want to give your person an ear shape. And then we're going to go ahead and use your tracing paper again. Okay, and tracing paper is just basically an artist tool, just like a pencil is an artist tool, an eraser, okay? The ruler that we had used um, in one of the previous videos for portraits, the paper, just another tool, right? And this is for tracing your own work, not someone else's work. Like we're not tracing off the portrait that's on the handout. We did trace off on the back though, that we all started off the same size and same shape oval, but we're not tracing off you know, an example face like what's on there. So next thing, any part of the tracing paper you want. Now, we want to trace off more than just the ear this time. Okay, we want some lines, other lines in there that are called lines of reference. They're going to help us get it lined up better. So when I go to trace off the ear, I'm going to do some of the dashed line that's already there on the portrait for the eye. I'm going to do one of the dashed lines that's on the portrait drawing for where the nose is. I'm going to do some of the outside of the head which was already on your drawing paper as well. So I'm going to sketch some of this off. And then I'm going to go ahead and trace off the ear. Go ahead and do the other lines as well. It's going to be help you and it's going to be a lot easier to line it up. So to kind of show you what I did, there's some of the dash for the eye, some of the dash for the nose, some of the outside edge of the oval shape for the head, and then the ear itself. Okay. So these other lines are called lines of reference. Because what happens now, when you take this and you flip it over to the left, okay, when you line up these dashes and the side of the head, like this, your ear is gonna be exactly in the right spot. You don't have to worry about having it slid up too high on, on the person's head or slid down too low on the person's head. You line up these other lines, the two dashes, the outside, shape of the oval, and then your ear is going to be like exactly in the right spot. You don't have to worry about erasing it and trying it a second time. All right, and you go ahead and go over the ear, you sketch it off. So there's the ear like that. Okay, again, before you just take it off, put your hand on your tracing paper and kind of peel up the corner, see if everything's there. It looks like it is. So then I go ahead and take off the tracing paper. And I've got both ears on there. They're symmetrical. I got it just right the first time, so I don't need to worry about erasing it and moving it because I used my lines of reference from the other side. So I'm going to go ahead and just make this a little darker so it won't smudge or smear away as I'm working on other parts of the portrait that we have to do yet. So go ahead and get that in there like that. So the ears are similar, I'm trying to get them to be symmetrical. All right, and then there will be some details we will put into the ears later, but we will come back to that when we work on details. So 
That was direction number six to ears. So the next thing we're gonna be working on next is going to be the mouth. So we'll get to that here in just a minute.